Good morning and welcome to another vlog. This vlog we're actually in lockdown and today we're waiting to see if it gets lifted or not. I don't know why I bother, he just always wants to hang. So Clint and I, Clint, So Clinton and I are off to go do our grocery shopping and that is the most thrilling part of our day. All right, so we're back from grocery shopping. So I've got a dilemma because I like to do click and collect, but they keep putting my stuff in bags. And I used to request no bags, but now they don't even give you the option. And I don't want 500 plastic Coles bags, but I don't like going to the shops and doing it myself because I always spend more money. So yeah, I don't know why they just don't let me choose no bags anymore, but whatever. All right, so I've been so obsessed with hash browns lately, so we're about to cook up a real big brekkie. Clinton's getting the Weber going for bacon and eggs. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so here's the fridge before. I like to clean it all out before I put all the new groceries in. Um, these tubs here are from Kmart. I have like a dairy one and then a random one. This one's also from Kmart. All right, I need to do something about this beauty room. I swear this is a problem I have constantly. I just can't keep it clean. It's actually not that bad, but I've got a bunch of mess going on here that I need to sort out. I've actually got these drawers that I picked up from Kmart. They're all just individual drawers that stack. And I want to put this makeup over here in them. So this makeup here is like stuff that I'm trying or new makeup to test out. And I want to put it here so it's like stacked and nice and neat. So that's what those drawers are going to be for. I actually received this package from Happy Hair recently. Let me pull it out and show you. So I've been seeing heaps of people test out the heatless waves on TikTok lately. And most of the time they just use like a tie from like your dressing gown or a robe. But Happy Hair reached out to me and asked if I wanted to feature their product in a YouTube video. And I was really excited to try it. So this is actually made from silk. So it's meant to help reduce frizz in your hair. I'm really interested to see if I can get the same results not using heat as opposed to using heat. Now that my hair is getting longer, I actually find it a bit difficult to curl and like it's not even super long, but I find that it just takes forever. <laughs> Overuse of heat is not good for the hair too, so hopefully this is an easier way and I'm hoping I can just go to bed and wake up with a beautiful curly hair. So I'm going to try this out later and we'll see the results in the morning. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do this now. I'm in the mood. So first of all, let's see how well it fits. I've got my mirror. Ooh, perfect. All right, so I've actually got quite a few foundations that I've been trying out, which has been very difficult because I've been wearing masks for the last five weeks. <laughs> So I think I might put those in the bottom here. I've got the Nisha BB creams that I tested out in the testing Jessica Braun's favorites. The Maybelline Fit Me, I actually, you'll see it coming up in a testing drugstore video. Was not a good first experience, but I'm gonna give it another go just to see. 
Instead, I used the NYX Bear with me and that actually turned out pretty well. I wanna keep testing the e.l.f. Cooling Face Primer. So I'll put that in here too. But the NYX Marshmallow Primer, I've gathered my thoughts on this and I really love it. So this can go into my drawer. Lipstick wise, I've got two here by NYX, the Lingerie XXLs, and they were fabulous. But I'm gonna put these here so I remember to use them. And I also really liked this Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. I've got quite a mixture of products here. We've got some bronzers that I'm still testing out, um, highlighters, eyeshadows. So I think the rest of it can go into this medium sized drawer. All right, well, that looks so much better than having products thrown everywhere. Oh, I actually need to sort out this one as well, which is what I previously had on my desk. Now these products again are some that I'm trying out, products that are also nearly empty that I wanna use up. These lip liners, look, I know I like them, so they can go over here with my other lip liners. What have I got here, designer brands, that can go in my drawer. I'm really running out of room in my drawer. <laughs> This is my foundation, concealer, and primer drawer. This stand is actually very pretty. I did pick it up from, you guessed it, Kmart. So maybe I can put that on my shelving to display some pretty products. Hmm. I saved my candle jars as well, especially these big glass house ones because they make great brush holders or just product holders. Oh, lip liners. Ooh, maybe I'll transfer my lip liners into one of these. The only thing is like, it's not very sturdy. So you kind of need two hands to pull the drawers out. Mm. But it looks good. Everything's so much tidier. All right, I've cleaned up this little table and I just got very carried away and have tidied up my shelving in my cupboard as well. So I've got like sunnies, bags, hair stuff, jewelry, and then perfumes and nail polish. And this is Clinton and I when we were 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. So I have just let my hair dry a little bit. It's still a bit damp. I have naturally wavy hair, if you can see underneath here. So I think it's best for it to be a bit wet when I do this. So the kit comes with your clip to keep this in place. This, it says on the website, is made from cotton. It's very, very soft. And the exterior is made from 100% mulberry silk. Now the curler is 90 centimeters long with a 3.5 centimeter diameter. And it says it can be used on all kinds of hair types and lengths. Now it also comes with two matching scrunchies to tie the ends and it comes in pink and black. Now there are instructions on the website, but I have been watching a few YouTube videos and seen a few TikToks. So I find it easier to follow a video. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a small section. Where's my little, let's flip this back over. I'm going to split that section in two. I'm gonna try and keep it in the center of my head, not towards the front. So this first section, I'm wrapping it around and bringing it back out. And then with the back section, same deal, wrapping it around, bringing it back out. And then it's kind of as if you're braiding. So you take another small section of hair and add into the first section wrap it around and bring it out. So my phone went out of memory and it stopped recording. <laughs> but this is what the first side looks like. So let me go ahead and show you with this side now. <laughs> I'm just going to hey, <laughs> brush it out. If you already know how to braid, then I think you'll find this pretty easy. So again, I'm doing the front piece of hair over and then coming back out. Back piece of hair, 
over and back out. And then with this piece of hair, I'm going to add some more in over and back out. Okay, so now that I've got all the hair in, I'm just going to continue twisting this around. And as I said, it does come with the scrunchies, but I'm going to use a smaller hair tie as I sleep pretty rough. <laughs> so I wanna make sure they stay in place. All right, we can take this out now. Look, it's not the neatest, but for my first time trying it, I've got, I've got high hopes. I think this is actually going to work pretty well on my hair. The only thing I'm worried about is how frizzy and messy it's going to be because whenever I wake up in the mornings, my hair is like, it's like, what happened to you when you went to bed? I'll also be interested to see how the back turns out because the curls are brought to the front. I'm not sure what the back will look like, like if it'll just even out once it, you know, sits naturally. Hmm. All right, well, this is it. I'll see you in the morning. What do you think? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so I put these in at about 8.30 last night. It is now 10 o'clock. So it's been a very long time. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot I put the scrunchies on too. <laughs> now I see people just do this. I think I may have done mine a bit too tight for that. Yeah, I might have to just undo them. Oh. Oh. Okay, look at those curls. Damn! Now my hair is a little bit frizzy up the top, but I was expecting that. So I'm hoping I can just put some product in to like tidy it up. <laughs> Looks like a sausage. Clinton actually said that last night. He's like, go to bed with a sausage wrapped in your head. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. <gasps> wow, okay. Damn, they are tight too. Oh, they look so good. Okay, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb and just brush them out. Sorry, my mirror is right here. That's why I keep ducking. Just gently. Okay, they look amazing. They are so bouncy. Let me get a mirror and check out the back because that's what I was a bit worried about. Oh, it's still quite curly down the bottom. I am really impressed to get this kind of result without using heat. Oh, excuse me, I have a phone call. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, the um, we need to pick new taps for the house. So the builder was just calling about that. So I need to get onto that. But anyway, back to the hair. Now that I've had a minute, I think that it is probably a little bit more bouncy than what I prefer. But the way that I twisted it gives more bouncy results because a lot of them, let me give a little example. A lot of other videos that I've watched, they just go front piece of hair around and then add another piece of hair and take that around and just keep going like that. So you're only pulling the hair from one side as opposed to the front and the back. So I think I might try that next time. But overall, I am so pleased. Look at this curly hair and no heat damage. Wow. Okay, what I'm going to do is use a bit of this 
Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf, how do you say that? Taft, it's like a, um, it's a paste. And I use this to put down my flyaways all the time. So just rub it in on my fingers. I'm just going to lightly rub that on the top of my hair here, just to pat down all that frizziness. Might even run the rest through. On the bottom as well, I get really frizzy down there. And then I've got this Pump Hair Care. It's a heat protection spray, but it's oily. So I don't really like using it as a heat protection because it does leave my hair too oily. But what I like to use it for is I spray a little bit on my hands, rub it in, and then just lightly rub that through my hair. And it kind of just, instead of having that frizzy look, it just makes it look a bit more sleek and gives it a bit of shine. So how about that? I am so impressed. All right, well, if you're interested, I will leave all the information and the link down to the website in the description box below. I just want to say thank you to Happy Hair for sending me the product to try out. I am so pleased. <laughs> all right, well, it is Monday, so that means content filming day. I've got my list here. I'm starting out with a Instagram reel. I got you guys to pick my makeup on Insta stories last night. So I'm going to gather all those products and do my makeup. After that, I've got two YouTube videos to film and then also a few TikToks. So make sure you come follow me over on TikTok if you aren't already. I am so obsessed, like I can't get off it. <laughs> so I filmed an empties video today and I speak about this in the video, but I just wanna show you here too because it's so exciting, but Priceline has started a recycling program for empty beauty products. So, this is my bag full of empty products. Did I talk about this yesterday? I can't remember if I did. But anyway, I'll put the links in the description box below with more information about like what you can recycle, what you can't, and what you need to do, so yeah. <laughs> all right, I am done creating all my content. I'm going to sit down now, have something to eat and watch some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, my little guilty pleasure. Some good news that our lockdown ended yesterday. It was only seven days, which is great. I'm thinking of all you guys in Australia and around the world who are still in a lockdown. Well, thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye. And yes, I picked a pimple. That's why my nose is all red. <laughs>